What is going on YouTubers? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today we're going to be doing something totally unusual and you guys will agree. I just purchased a vehicle. Yes, a motorcycle without even having it. I got it from legendmoto.com. I read all the uh, reviews that they have and that particular dealer, I think it's .com or .net, I can't recall, but I will be leaving that link down below. They are located in Moore Haven, Florida, which is west from where I live. I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida, which is the East Coast. And they are right at the middle where Lake Okeechobee is. They're right south of that. And they are the only dealer in Florida that has currently the CF Moto Ibex 800T in stock. As you guys can tell, my channel has been taking an incline towards motorcycles, guys. I think I might have to open a new channel uh, specifically for motorcycles because it's something that I, I loved since I was a little kid and now I'm focusing a little bit more on it. So now we're gonna see how everything goes with this dealership. CF Moto is a Chinese company, as you guys probably know, and they are affordable, okay? They came here to the US, I believe, starting, I think it was 1989. I'm not sure if that's when they came here to the USA or that's when they started as a company, but they've been here for a while. And a lot of people, mainly know their UTVs, ATVs, but not the motorcycle side of it. And only this guy has three, which is the demo unit, and he has two in stock. That's it. So anyways, guys, follow me in this adventure. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let's head on out, and hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I will. 24 hours later. It is a darn hot day in Florida today. It has to be at least 96, 97, feeling like 106, but here we go, guys. We are ready to rock and roll. Now I know what they mean when they said that this place is in the middle of nowhere. Well, it pretty much is. We're only about 47 minutes away. And man, I can't wait. here guys after one hour 41 minutes approximately we Turn made it right. to legend moto right. and here it is i can't see the bike yet but maybe it's inside these guys they focus more on utvs atvs Turn just right. because this Turn place is right. in the middle of nowhere i'm like a kid in a candy store guys this is amazing a few moments later well guys, here's a better view now that we just got out of the car. Check this out. Whole bunch of stuff in here, man. This is, like I said, a kid in a candy store. I believe this is a 1000. No, there you go. It's 950. You have the Kimco brands as well. CF Moto, C4s. 400 I think it is CF force excuse me for that or C force yeah I was correct four by fours just beautiful stuff guys look at this red one CF force 600 touring but we don't see a lot of motorcycles as I said before Sebastian, you can tell you, us about that beautiful bike. Oh yes, thank you so much. Thank you for coming to us. Take us a walk here through the uh, CF yeah, Moto. It's the one that I've been looking at and you, you know that I did all this uh, through the phone basically. I purchased yes. the bike without even looking at it, but it's because I, I searched so much about it and I like pretty much everything so far. But of course, you're gonna tell us about the details of the bike and what it is and so on and so forth. So. Tell me more about the CF Moto. The motorcycle, you know, is this motorcycle is one of the first, you know, joint ventures with KTM. And we have actually together, trying to put, you know, together, you know, um, to make a strength to try to sell more motorcycles, let's be honest, and share, you know, um, pretty much, you know, all the strength 
the KTN has with its name, and the production uh, capacity that CF Moro has. CF Moro has been one of the most quality-oriented motorcycle builders in the in China, and together they try to build something that is, you know, trying to produce more quality bikes at the better price also. So we got the bike that is pretty much, you know, um, KTM engine, KTM frame, with the CF Moro design and electronics. Uh, we have, you know, pretty much, you know, all the design made by Kiska in Austria. Sebastian, tell us about the engine. What what was the engine all about on the Ibex 800? Well, it comes, you know, from the KTM 719, like I was saying before, and it's a really powerful engine, uh, 790 cc, 95 horsepower. Uh, they just put all the technology, also quick shifter. Um, we have, you know, cruise control on the machine. So it's an engine that has been proven for 15 years, pretty much. We have a very interesting display. Can you tell us more about that display? Yeah, they have a TFT display that, you know, is loaded with all the features, all the new technology. Wow. Look at that. We get it into the... Well, a very nice, you know, new quality, age. brightness <laughs> and... And like all the expensive bikes out there, you know, that all go above $20,000, it has pretty much everything that you can control. It's sport mode, you know, rain mode. You can control also with your phone, setting up, you know, it has a GPS tracker. I heard you can that it has a, an application that yeah. you can uh, connect via Bluetooth and you can check all of the, uh, you know, issues if it has any, all the maintenance records and, and all these details that not many bikes offer out there, to be quite honest. It you know is I mean? very important for the young generation that they like to have, you know, spend more time on the computers, that they have all that, you know, technology available so they can use this, you know, for something that is important like maintenance, what's going on with the bike, and details that before we could not access, you know. And now we have that, you know, a hand in your phone directly, you know, pretty much. So it's a, it's a good feature that we have. And it's like, you know, something that we are starting to see on all the new bikes. They, they brought the machines here to try to start, you know, a market, you know, and they wanted to have, you know, a machine that is pretty much um, a touring bike that you can do off-road. That's why they have tubeless rims and tires. Wow. So you can use, you know, off-road all the time or 50-50, sometimes people they want to use, you know, a little bit less on the road and they want to go and have, you know, some fun, you know, on, on the gravel. The difference I, I with- I love the fact of the, the, having the quick shifter where you don't have to be, you know, pressing the clutch all the time, especially on the highway, I heard it's a lot more accurate than doing it at lower speeds. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's been recommended to use it on higher revs because it just works so much better, which is something, again, I'm going to be testing later on as we go on the ride, guys. By the way, I already purchased this bike, and I can't wait to go out there on the road. So keep telling us more. I see here on the side we have the A-stand that comes already with the bike as a standard uh, feature as well, correct? For the yes. B and the S model as it, well. They made that exactly so you can service the bike in case of, you know, something happened. You need to actually, you know, uh, change the tire, service the chain. In case you have a nail in the middle of nowhere, you can put the bike up and you can put in you know, a plug and keep going. You're not going to be, you know, stranded. Also, so, Sebastian, I, I, I read that it comes with uh, heated handle grips and heated seats for the winter, right? Another fantastic feature that we actually will love, not in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it'll, it'll probably cook us. But if you go up north, you know, our friends, you know, from up north, they're gonna really enjoy that feature because, you know, it's really fantastic, especially the seat. Because, you know, in cold days, you're gonna use it a lot. Also, I heard that this bike comes with ABS and cornering ABS as well. Yeah, that's something that is very good and it's coming, you know, standard with all the expensive bikes, but you can get it on this bike that is, you know, the MSRP of 10499 So that's something amazing, yes. And what are these round? Uh, but they appear to be lights. Are those fog lights already? Those are actually built in? fog lights that are built in, and you can use them, you know, in those days, you know, especially in Florida in winter time, they're gonna be pretty cool. Wow. And that comes also, you know, with the, with the machine 
Okay, and I believe this one comes with cruise control. You get all those yes, features the, as well. Yes, the cruise control is really... I mean, yeah. there's so much that you're getting for the value. At, at uh, Me, personally, with after taxes, it's twelve nine ninety seven. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, phenomenal for everything that you get. And as you mentioned before, it, it makes it a lot more accessible for the younger people. It, it's truly fantastic. And for ride enthusiasts like myself, that's what really attracted me to come here to Legend Moto and finally make the decision of purchasing such a great bike. And i done my research as well, and this is just, it screams quality all the way around. I love the cases. I love that I can now go longer distances. And I heard also great things about the riding quality. Well, Sebastian, let's go ahead and do all the paperwork. You already have me sold on the bike. I really Thank appreciate you. all you, your Jason. time. Thank you for all of the information, guys. My We're going to head on to the road now in a few minutes and see what this is really all about. That's the fun part. Well guys, we just got out of the dealership here. We came to Joey's Pizza. Uh, first impressions from that one mile that I rode it here. Well, it is a heavy bike. Make sure that you are ready for that weight. Uh, when I got on it, uh, I almost dropped it. This thing is 510 pounds uh, wet, but that's not including the cases on the side. As a matter of fact, I think that just uh, for this trip, heading back home, I'm going to remove the two side cases and put them in my trunk. I have here my SUV as well. My wife is following me now, or will follow me. Uh, this thing is, is just amazing when it comes to all of the technologies we know. Let's get her started. This is the second start. Uh, let me give my wife uh, the signal that we are leaving and uh, yeah, you can see here the infotainment system Tons of great information as you guys can tell we have sports mode. We have rain mode the gear indicator We have the uh, speedometer of course with a little gas gauge. They gave it to me with a full gas of tank uh, or tank of gas and then you got your little ABS uh, check engine light warning low oil warning and so on and so forth guys so we are in neutral there we go and uh, yeah I am on tippy toes right now guys this is not uh, a bike for short people I am you can say I'm 510 with shoes and 59 without shoes and Wow, this is a tall bike. Wow, I can see why they're saying that this bike has an excellent stance. I can tell this is gonna be like super comfy, guys. The seat. You don't feel the pressure on your Botox as with other bikes that I've had in the past. You can start feeling the pressure now that I'm on this bike almost immediately. Not with the Ibex 800. It gets up to speed very quickly. So this is third gear. Let's move on to fourth gear. And my camera couldn't sustain the rain I guess my little x3 here is having a hard time staying in place can't lie to you it is a different animal I never ridden a adventure slash touring bike this is my first the most upright precision bike that I've ever re ridden is the uh, Z900 by Kawasaki if you guys didn't see that on the channel because I I didn't really review anything about it. Or did any modifications as I typically do. The windscreen on this bike is perfect. I barely feel any wind right now. And when I mean barely, I just feel a little bit on the upper side of my helmet. Just a little bit, but not too much. I believe it's in the lowest position. If I increase it, maybe I won't feel anything, but that's fifth gear. I'll keep it around this speed, guys, for obvious purpose. Uh, you know that we are in the break-in. This thing only has about three, four miles on the odometer right now. It feels like we're doing 50, 40 miles an hour. I mean, it is so different to riding 
to riding a sports motorcycle, which is what I've been doing ever since I started riding, guys. Just to try all the speeds. They say it is good to shift up and down in the braking period so that you can wear all the gears a little bit. And guys, we're gonna have to stop because I feel like we're gonna lose this camera. There we go, guys. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a quick stop here real quick. Just to fix that camera, I'll be right back. A few moments later. Cruise control, as you can see, I let go of my right hand and it is super simple to set. You simply flick this little switch to the right and then hit the set button. And of course, from here, you can increase the speed. Right there, I just added one mile. Hopefully, it'll get to that. There we go. Just did 71 and I'm not touching the speedometer. The same thing you can do with decreasing the speed. Now we went back to about 70 miles per hour. It's amazing. I never had a bike with a cruise control before, guys. So this is all new to me. And let me tell you guys, CF Moto is putting a name here in the USA. And that's most likely, just like I was telling the salesperson at the dealership, because now they're focusing on the bigger displacement engines so they started with the 300s then they moved now to the 450 SS you get the 650s those have been around for a while uh, now you have the 800s which is the one that I'm riding and they're coming with the new 1000 R I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it or what but yes they are coming with the 1000 R to cancel the cruise control is quite simple guys, you simply press the handbrake or the foot brake. You can also cancel it directly from the uh, switch. But some people said that, uh, that you can move the throttle forward on certain bikes and it'll cancel. Well that's not the case here with the CF Moto. Also guys keep in mind that we have a quick shift but that's uh, from what I heard. It is a, a whole lot better when you're doing... Um, uh, higher RPMs like if you're entering the highway because if you're going too slow it's gonna feel clunky I already tried it when I wasn't recording and it felt a little clunky and uh, yeah it, it works better on higher RPMs but uh, that's a uh, that's an awesome feature guys now we have a company like CF Moto that I can finally afford guys don't take me wrong there's a lot of great brands out there like Yamaha, Kawasaki, BMW, Suzuki you name it but they cost a lot of money to own it I would say minimum three to four grand more out the door than I paid for this one right here this is a parallel twin motor able to produce about 94 horsepower at 9500 rpms and it does have a 270 degrees crank and let me tell you guys with the right exhaust this engine will scream in which I plan to do the next uh, you know adding the accessories as this will be my permanent bike for a while especially knowing how it rides oh my god this is a keeper for sure guys this is a, um, a KTM Duke uh, 790 motor it is the same uh, to that bike and let me tell you it performs great it is super torquey it gets uh, to highway speeds in no time all right guys so we made a quick stop here at the random place I just wanted to show you how to get into settings if you click on set and then you press and hold the arrow down with the set that'll change different settings on here so you have the uh, Bluetooth for your phone calls then you have the navigation and then we jump into settings on here you can change the drive mode I believe you had to be stopped in order for this to work so let's say I want to set this then here's where you change it to uh, sport or uh, rain uh, then we have the handle grip heater we have the seat heater we get connections for that Bluetooth connection option information uh, trip reset this is what I wanted to reset here so we're gonna reset this one here we have done as you guys can tell about 34 miles already and uh, let's see to reset it I think we there you go yes you had to hold and press here uh, or press and hold the set button and that'll bring it back to zero and then we have the brightness uh, you can change the uh, units as well so we had the brightness units 
language and then it goes to reset all so to go back simply click here on the back button we have it of course on sports mode there's only two again modes that you can change it to it's either sport or rain and that's pretty much it we get reload compression and rebound and i believe down the rear we only get two we get rebound and i'm not sure if it's a reload or compression i can't recall but i know on the back you have two settings and on the front you have three different settings so having all that vibration to the handlebar it causes for you to uh, not see things clearly I'm not sure if you guys can see the rear view mirror right there but everything looks quite shaky you still can see it I can see all the cars and everything but a little bit too shaky for my likes it is a tall bike some people that have reviewed this particular bike I think they're six foot and above I think they can flat foot depending on their inseam my inseam here is about 30 inches approximately 30 and a half and uh, I can't flat foot guys I'm on tippy toes all the time or these hand protectors they're doing quite well I can hardly feel the wind when my hand is on here so that's great because when you're doing highway like this highway that we're on right now then um, yeah some bugs and debris can hit your fingers and they hurt like hell and uh, yeah they protect you quite well guys this was a very nice touch by CF Moto and again this comes included uh, by default this thing by default also it comes with a TPMS which is a tire pressure monitoring system and it does have an ambient temperature sensor so right now here the screen is telling me that we are at 93 degrees Fahrenheit as I told you guys before it is super hot so yes it does have those features as well like I say guys this is a feature packed bike I am more impressed as I ride it and as I keep learning more about it here while riding I'm staring at the display a little bit since we don't have a lot of traffic right now and this is incredible very cool let's give it a little bit of rev let's see what happens look at that guys we're doing almost 90 here but that's about as much as i'm gonna do guys again i mean we can't kill it i'm gonna keep this bike i don't want to hurt the engine you know that brake in is very important the bike is uh doing two miles more than the GPS even after a while so you can see we have a clear sky today I'm doing 54 55 you can see that the bike here is claiming now 60 but on the GPS it says 58 so it is exactly two miles off on the bike itself something to just be aware of I gotta tell you guys I'm very impressed about the CF Moto 800 T this thing it's uh it's great for long travels as a matter of fact i only did like one or two stops because i was trying to get things uh you know to get familiarized with the bike so i had to stop like to work with the display and things of that nature but besides that guys i didn't have to stop and it's been now about 80 miles straight and uh, that's equivalent to like an hour 20 hour 40 minutes depending how fast you're going and I don't feel exhausted this is really the dream bike that I wanted in the sense of riding quality not every bike is for everybody I noticed that sports bike even though I love them they look great they look aggressive and many of you do love them as well but for me touring bikes adventure bikes is the way to go well that is it for today's trip we did about 76 miles on this bike being brand new unbroken we just got it from the dealership and we can observe right here all the bugs that got into it uh, the maximum speed that we got it to was about 92 miles an hour and it did it like nothing guys this thing is absolutely a dream at least for myself it is the type of riding that I wanted to do on a motorcycle I know that a lot of you guys are probably going to mention the brand I know that CF Moto is a Chinese brand this is a Chinese bike but I am not ashamed of that guys I'm actually quite uh, happy with this purchase it is a uh, way cheaper bike than other brands like Suzuki BMW Kawasaki 
and we know that there's a lot of adventure models out there but this one for the price point you're getting so much guys just to mention a few you get adjustable suspension as i said before out of the factory you get fog lights complete led lights all over the place adjustable windscreen you get usb ports as well we have a nice infotainment system heated grips heated seats or seat you get so much for the money i did add a couple of extra things like the extender here for the kickstand i did get the cases as i mentioned earlier and it is just an all-around excellent bike we get here the uh, hand uh, guards uh, for the wind as you can tell a whole bunch of bugs hit it so those were bugs that were going to hit my hand and uh, yeah guys i'm super stoked with it uh, the ride was excellent we're going to take it home clean it up nicely and then when it breaks in i'll keep you guys updated with more videos about the ibex 800 this is my personal bike so i'll have it for a while and you guys are going to see a lot of uh, maintenance videos as well so stay tuned for that uh, here on the channel thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on my next one